Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to look at running a self-hosted Acme server with StepCA and Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. First, we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to run Docker. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Followed by another apt install to install Docker, Docker Compose, and Containerd. With the Docker packages installed, we'll make sure the Docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the Docker group. Then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to start creating containers. We'll start by creating a working directory for StepCA to store its persistent data. Then we'll use the docker run command to create our StepCA container. Make sure to update the inet name and DNS name environmental variables before executing the command. Then we'll use the docker exec command to enable the Acme provisioner within the container. Then restart the container for the change to take effect. That's all that's required to get the Acme container up and running. To demonstrate, I'll log into a different server and step through the process to request a certificate from our container. When requesting a certificate from a remote server, you'll likely need to copy the StepCA root CA certificate to the remote host to force trusting the certificate authority. This can be completed with a one-liner using the SCP command. Now that we have access to the StepCA root CA certificate, we can install CertBot to handle the certificate request. We'll start by running apt remove certbot to remove any previously installed versions. Then using apt install, we'll install snap. With snap now installed, we'll install snap core and update. Then we'll install the certbot snap. Next, we'll create a symbolic link to the certbot binary in the system path. With certbot now installed, we're ready to request our certificate. In the certbot command, set the server option to the DNS or IP address of the Docker host and the port that StepCA is listening on. Then set the DNS name for the certificate request to be applied to. When prompted, input an email address and choose if you'd like to receive emails from Let's Encrypt. If everything's configured properly, the certificate request should succeed and your certificate should be created by the StepCA server. Now if we navigate to the Etsy Let's Encrypt directory, we can see our certificates are there and ready to be used. We now have StepCA, a self-hosted Let's Encrypt alternative, running containerized in Docker.